Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nunta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a card holder. Now I've made this card holder with my 100% cotton yarn. And for this one, I've used my 3.5 mm of the hook. So let's begin. Okay. So for this card holder, I've used my honeycomb stitch and for that one, we're going to need our chains in uh, multiplication of two. So here I've made my slip knot and now I'm going to chain up 18, one, eight. So it's one, two, three. And here it is. I've got my 18 chains and now I will turn my work. And I'm going to come up on the back side of my this chains. Now, this is the first chain, the back side of my first chain. And this is the back portion of my second chain. Now, I'm going to insert my hook into my the second chain. We'll grab my yarn and we'll make my first single crochet. And now, I will do one single crochet on each chain, each stitch. So in total, I'm going to have my 17 single crochets here. So it's one, two, and three. And four. And here it is. For my round number one, I have my 17 single crochets. And now for my round number two, I'm going to chain one and will turn my work. And now I'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch. We'll grab my yarn and we'll make my first single crochet into the second stitch one single crochet and now we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch uh, for this round number two so by the end of this round number two we're gonna have our 17 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is by the end of my round number two i have my 17 single crochets and now for round number three we're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn our work and now for the first stitch here, we're going to make one single crochet. So insert your hook into your first stitch, grab your yarn and make your first single crochet, a normal single crochet. And now for the second stitch, we will not insert our hook in here. Instead, we will go to this chain space. So this is our chain space and this is our first chain and that's our second chain. And we're going to insert our hook into that second chain like this. And we will grab our yarn from the back and we're going to have our longer single crochet like this. So yarn over and pull your yarn through both your loops and that's your first longer single crochet like this. And now for the next stitch, the third stitch, we're going to have our normal single crochet. And for the fourth stitch, we will again go to this chain space. We will insert our hook into that chain space. We will grab our yarn, yarn over and pull your yarn through both your loops. And that's your another longer single crochet. Next stitch, we're going to have one normal single crochet. And into the next stitch, we're going to have our longer single crochet. Again, next stitch, we're going to have one normal single crochet. And next stitch, we're going to have longer single crochet. So keep on doing this. Keep on doing one normal single crochet and one longer single crochet. And by the end here, you're going to have your 17 single crochets. And the last single crochet would be your normal single crochet. And I'm going to meet you at the end of this round, round number three. And here it is. I have my... 16 single crochets and that's going to be my last 17th single crochet for this row row number three and here it is it looks like this now for row number four i'm going to chain one and will turn my work like this and now for the first stitch for the first single crochet i'm going to insert my hook and will make my one single crochet here for the second stitch i would insert my hook 
We'll grab my yarn and we'll make my second single crochet. Like this. Now for the third stitch, you can see a V here. So I'm going to take this second part of my this V and the first part of my this second V like this. And I'm going to insert my hook in this way. Now I'm going to grab my yarn. So yarn over and grab your yarn and you're going to have two loops here. Now yarn over and pull your yarn through your both the loops and make your single crochet here. And this is your third stitch. Now for the fourth stitch, we're going to insert our hook into this single crochet. We'll grab our yarn and we'll make our normal single crochet here. Now again, for this next stitch, we're going to insert our hook into this second part of the V, like this, and this first part of the V, this way. And now, grab your yarn and you're going to have two loops. Now yarn over and pull your yarn. Again, for the next stitch, we're going to have one single crochet. And for the next stitch, we're going to take this second part of the V like this and the first part of the V, the next V like this, we'll grab our yarn through both of that strain of yarns and I'm going to have two loops. Now yarn over and pull your yarn through both your loops. Next stitch will be your normal single crochet and next stitch again, take your second strain of that V. And the first strain of your next V, grab your yarn, yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops and that's your single crochet. And keep on repeating this pattern. And by the end of this round, round number four or round number four, you're going to have your 17 stitches. And Now here it is, I've taken my this last set of V, I've made my this single crochet and this is my 15 single crochets. Here I have 15 single crochets and for my 16th single crochet, I'm going to insert my hook into my this next stitch, we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my normal single crochet and for the 17th stitch, again, I will insert my hook into this next stitch, we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my normal single crochet like this. Now, this is the end of my row number four. Now, for the row number five, I'm going to chain one and will turn my work. Like this. And now, you can see a, a circle here, a star here. So, this is basically a star of your second row. So, I'm going to insert my hook into the second row and will grab my yarn and will make my first longer single crochet here my next stitch will be my normal single crochet and my third stitch skip this longer single crochet and you have to go next to that uh, longer single crochet those two strain of yarns you have to go next to that and you will find your star here so this is your star this is the end of your uh, first row and start of your second row so you're going to find your star here insert your hook into that star and here at the back your hook will come out from this v you can see the v here so your hook would come out from this v and now we're gonna grab our yarn and we're gonna have our longer single crochet for this round and now next stitch we're gonna have our normal single crochet and for the next stitch again we're gonna skip this two strain of yarns and we will find our star here so insert your hook make sure that uh, at the back your hook is coming out from this v uh, make sure that your hook is not going somewhere like this or or like this it has to be in between this v so make sure your 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 hook is coming out in between this v every single time just make sure that and take out your yarn and yarn over and pull your yarn and you're gonna have your longer single crochet like this the next one will be your normal single crochet again skip this longer single crochet and insert your hook into that star and you're gonna have your longer single crochet again and keep on doing this and by the end of this round you're gonna have your 17 single crochet and uh, 
one longer single crochet and one normal single crochet and I'm gonna meet you after my this row row number five okay so I'm here on my row number five and I've made my this 16 single crochets and I'm here at my last single crochet and my this last single crochet would be my longer single crochet now here you can see a longer single crochet of your row number three and here you you're gonna find your this star at the end so insert your hook into this star like this and grab your yarn like this now here you're gonna find your space so don't worry about the space we are gonna take up the space later on now yarn over and pull your yarn through both your loops and that's gonna be your final 17th single crochet for your row number five don't worry about this uh, part it will go in later on we will do we will work on it so don't worry about this one and this is the end of your row number five now i'm gonna chain one sorry i'm gonna chain one for our row number six and i will turn my work and i'm at the back part now here uh, i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch for my row number six and We'll grab my yarn and we'll make my normal single crochet here now for this next stitch second stitch i'm going to insert my hook into this second part of the v and the first part of my next v like this and we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my single crochet now into this next stitch i will make my normal single crochet and the next stitch i will insert my hook into my this first part of the v and the second part of the v and we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my single crochet next stitch will be my normal single crochet and the next stitch i will take the second part and the first part of my these two v's we'll grab my yarn and i'm gonna have two loops and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops next stitch will be your normal single crochet and now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round you're gonna have your 17 single crochets your 17 stitches don't worry if your work don't worry if your work messed up like this you can take this uh, part like this and you can correct your pattern your design so just don't get confused if anything like this happens so go on like this and now i'm on my 16th stitch so i'm going to take this two parts of my this v and we'll make my this 16th stitch this is my 16th stitch and for the next stitch i'm going to insert my hook into this normal single crochet and we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my 17th normal single crochet and this is the end of my row number six now here we're gonna repeat our row number three four five and six so now keep on repeating row number three four five and six so for the next row row number seven i'm gonna repeat my row number three so for that one i'm gonna chain one and we'll turn my work and we'll do my one first normal single crochet the second one will be my longer single crochet so i will go to i will go next to this longer single crochet and I'll find out my this star and I will insert my hook into this way we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my longer single crochet here the next one will be this normal single crochet again the next one will be my longer single crochet the next one will be my normal single crochet the next one will be a long, longer one and the next one will be a normal one and keep on repeating your row number three here and by the end of this round or row row number seven you're gonna have your 17 single crochets your 17 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is i have my 16 single crochets and that's gonna be my last single crochet for my row number seven now for the row number eight i'm gonna repeat my row number four so for that one I'm gonna have my first two stitches I'm gonna have my normal single crochets and for the third one I will start making the pattern so for that one I will take the both parts of the V two different V's 
and one normal single crochet then again this two parts of my two different V's then again a normal single crochet and keep on repeating this pattern for this row row number eight and I'm gonna meet you after that and here it is I finished my row number eight here and now for the row number nine I'm gonna chain up one and will turn my work and now I'm gonna repeat my row number five here yes row number five here so for that one insert your insert your hook into this uh, star for the first stitch and that will be your longer single crochet so just make your one longer single crochet then the next stitch will be a normal single crochet again a longer single crochet and make sure that your hook is coming out from in between this V part and make your longer single crochet so keep on repeating your row number five here for this row number nine and I'm gonna meet you after my this row number nine again I'm here on my row number nine and as I'm repeating my row number five here I'm gonna insert my hook into my this last star and we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my single crochet and there will be a little gap here but don't worry we will fix this one later on and this is the end of my row number nine now for the row number 10 i'm gonna chain one and we'll turn my work and we'll repeat my row number six here so for that one insert your hook into your first stitch grab your yarn and make your first single crochet and then for this second stitch insert your hook into your second part of the v and the first part of the next v and grab your yarn and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and that's your single crochet and next stitch will be your normal single crochet and the next stitch will be your pattern and keep on repeating this stitches keep on repeating this pattern and keep on repeating your row number six here for your row number 10 and i'm gonna meet you after my this row row number 10 and i'm gonna have my 17 stitches here And here it is. After the end of my row number 10, my work looks like this. And now keep on repeating your row number 3, 4, 5, and 6 until your row number 70, 7, 0. And I'm going to meet you after my row number 70. So keep on repeating your row number 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so after my row number 70, my work looks like this. And this is my last stitch of my row number 70 and now we're gonna work on this left side of this uh, project and we're gonna have the same number of stitches on this uh, right side as well so on both the sides we're gonna have our stitches and both the sides we're gonna have same number of stitches and for that here you can see a longer strain of yarn so this is a longer strain of yarn this one and a shorter strain of yarn here so this is a shorter strain of yarn and this is a longer strain of yarn here on this longer strain of yarn we're going to work on two stitches while on this one on a shorter strain of yarn we're going to work on one single crochet one stitch only so for that one again on this side as well we're going to do the same thing so for that one chain one now this chain one will count as your first single crochet and i'm going to put my stitch marker on this so that I will remember that this is my first stitch and as I've already made my chain one here my first single crochet here I'm gonna insert my hook on this longest strain of yarn for once only like this and we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my one single crochet here only now on this second shorter strain of yarn on this on this part we're going to insert our hook and we'll grab our yarn and we'll make one single crochet here again on this longest strain of yarn on this part we're going to have two single crochets so insert your hook and we go one single crochet and here again that's your two single crochets now again we are here on our short strain of yarn insert your hook grab your yarn and make your one single crochet and now we are gonna repeat this 
pattern here. And by the end of this round or row, we are going to have 53 stitches. So 53 stitches on this side. And we're going to do exactly the same 53 stitches on this right side as well. So for this, let's do 53 stitches first and then we will work on this bottom part and then we will come up here. So let's do 53 stitches here and I'm going to meet you at the end here. And here it is. I have my 52 stitches and I'm going to insert my hook into this last stitch for one more time and we'll grab my yarn and we'll make my 53 stitches like this. So in total we have 53 stitches on this left side and now we're going to turn our work to the left for one more time and we will come up on this bottom part and now here we're gonna have 17 single crochets one single crochet on each chain so for that one insert your hook into your first chain grab your yarn and make your first single crochet and keep on doing one single crochet on each chain as this is our chain part uh keep on doing one single crochet on each chain and you're gonna have your 17 stitches 17 single crochets here it is we have 17 stitches on our bottom part and now again we're going to turn our work to the left and we are here on our right side the second side and again here we're going to have our 53 stitches exactly the same so for that one i'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll do two single crochets here so it's one and two and i will keep on doing my uh, single crochets here now remember that on a, on a on a longer strain of yarn you have to do two single crochets and on a shorter strain of yarn we will have to do one single crochet so this is our longer strain of yarn so here i'm gonna do two single crochets so it's one and two and here on this shorter strain of yarn you're gonna do one single crochet now here always remember that this is the part where over this gap will appear on this right side so just keep on working on those stitches as well so when you're making this single crochets at the edge just include those parts inside on your stitch so just like this and grab your stitch sorry grab your yarn And make your single crochet like this so that your that part will be stitched in and there will be no flaws in your in your work so just keep in mind of that thing as well and i'm gonna meet you at the end after my 53 stitches and here it is i have my 52 stitches on this side as well and i'm gonna insert my hook into my this last stitch and we'll do my 53 stitches so in total we have 53 stitches on this side and this side both the sides now here again i'm gonna turn my work to my left side and i'm gonna come up on this top side and i'm gonna make one single crochet on each stitch and here i'm gonna have my 17 stitches and i'm gonna meet you at the end here and here it is i have my 17 stitches and that is gonna be the end of my this round all four edges and as I've taken out my stitch marker from here, I'm going to insert my hook into my this chain one. We'll grab my yarn and we'll make my slip stitch here. Like this. And now we're going to cut our yarn. Secure your last stitch and put your loose end in. And then we are going to attach our work. Okay, so now here we're going to count 24 stitches on each side and that's going to be four sides so here i have already put three stitch markers and this is my fourth one so i'm going to count this is my first stitch i'm going to count this as my first stitch so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty four and i'm going to insert my the stitch marker here on my 24th stitch and here we're gonna leave five stitches one two three four and five here as well 
five stitches so it's one two three four and five so both the sides leave five five stitches in the middle and just put your project in this way and that's gonna be like this and now for this one we're gonna turn it we're gonna take our yarn and insert your hook it's here and grab your yarn and now insert your hook into your both the sides with both the loops and grab your yarn and make slip stitch so it's one two three and here it is my last stitch my 11th slip stitch like this so you're gonna have your 11 slip stitches and now on this five stitches we're gonna work on this stitches so it's gonna be next five slip stitches so it's one two three four and five now again here we're gonna have our 12 slip stitches so for that one just take out your this stitch marker insert your hook into your both stitch grab your yarn and make your slip stitches and keep on doing one slip stitch on this each stitch from both the sides and you're gonna have your 12 slip stitches and here it is this is my last 12th slip stitch like this. and now I'm gonna cut my yarn and secure my this last stitch and I'm gonna repeat exactly the same on this side as well and I'm gonna meet you after that and here it is the card wallet is ready and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye